Adopting the right approach is important. So there's work to be done today. After a quiet weekend, an early approach to the bridge revealed an assembly of trucks on the west end. Identification was no challenge. Kylie Paving was on scene. And clearly sizing things up for a job. Before long, a milling machine quickly began work on what would clearly be a resurfacing task. The milling machine was ably supported by a sweeper gatherer. The whole operation is an excellent example of well coordinated cooperative action. Whilst the milling work continued, tidying up was much in evidence. Elsewhere, a team was engaged in placing the safety fencing along the walkway. Bridge components, no longer required on site, were being gathered, presumably, for removal. Throughout the morning, the work of removing the old surface continued. A little after midday, the focus turned to the east side. Notably, all the vehicles involved transited the bridge. In next to no time, work on the east side was underway. In the same well-coordinated operation that had been evident in the west. Of course, all that pavement residue has to depart the scene at some point. Around 1.30, as the water taxi plied its trade in the background, it was time for the milling machine to depart. It would move forward to meet its float truck, which had crossed the bridge earlier to be ready for it. Loading and unloading large equipments is always treated with considerable care. Once any load is fully safe and secure, it's time to be off down the road. However, as we bring this update to a close, there's one more event that needs to be recorded. Today, an inspector from ACRO who made and supplied the bridge, conducted a final inspection. We must hope all went well. I'll close this update with a look at the bridge as it stood this morning and anticipate a couple of busy days. Thanks for watching.